Okay, guys, for the people who would like to have an FJ body or not, but um, let me give you some tips. Um, how did I mount this, this thing on here? Uh, I took the basically you could say an SUV, uh, the um, you know, the the tall trees and um, the short one, the medium and short. Uh, Let's see what else, what do I have on this thing? People have been asking like, what do you add on your truck? Um, let's see, I got four of these, so uh, they're basically tow hooks, one winch, um, a battery supply to this. See, I do have the winch working. See, I will show you. Let's go in there. Okay, I will attach this later, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it right there. Um, one nine, one yeah, yeah one. I forgot what they're called. I. <sighs> One eight, no, one ninth scale uh, tires, um, custom rims, uh, custom, like custom rings, um, RC Spark sticker. I can't really see it, but I mean, RPG Hobby gearhead, two gearhead, a light actually will be working. I'm gonna have another one over here. Then I'm gonna get me a light bar that goes right there. Then after that. I'm gonna give me two little small ones that goes over here. For the top, I have two tie straps in there, uh, and X straps that go under here. Now the back, I have a uh, tag. You know my license plate it is expired. It's 08 and it's March. Um, it's Argus. B King Crawler, Big Crawler, Big, Big BK Crawler, I don't know, um, yeah, uh, Sharpie, you know, stuff right here, Sharp, um, but yeah, I added that, that's, that's a nice detail right there, two tires, I mean, they're not glued, but they're, uh, I can. I mean, I'm not gonna use them. These are these are these are beadlocks, so I don't want to use them. But uh, yeah. But if anybody can comment on below, what is I N S P I? I think that's an R. Whatever that is, it's it's um yeah. Uh, that's what the truck. I want to call the truck name. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there. But uh, yeah. But the damage in this truck, it uh, has cracked there. I mean, a little scratch there. Crack, scratches, um, scratch, scratch, scratch. And for the back, it's got a little bit. I mean, it's dirty, but I mean, I can't do much to clean it with it. But uh, I try my best for it to look good and for to do these videos because they're, you know they're not easy to do. They're really kind of hard. You gotta you gotta find a place, find a camera spot. But, uh, yeah, I've got over $2,000 in this. And this project, I'm not saying it because last time I said it, it broke again. So, it's just finished. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. It's not done, but it's it's good enough where I like it. Okay. But, um, for you, um, greenhorns, I guess you can call you. Ow. Okay. I was, I was. Still, please use this thread thread lock axle. It comes in your um a kit you have. Please use this, okay? If you don't use this, then your truck's gonna be like mine. It doesn't want to come together, and uh, you're gonna have a whole hell mess of buying parts and all that. So please use this stuff. This is valuable. You get this in your package. Make sure you use it, cause make sure you use it wisely. Don't play with this stuff this stuff is very important
Because these, these things tighten and don't use red unless you go dead. Unless you want to be dead. But other than that, yeah. But I'm getting a, um, got my girlfriend's can't show it. Sorry, I cannot show it because she likes to watch my videos and she'll see one of my, she'll see her vehicle and I cannot do that. And unfortunately, I'm getting a deadbolt. She already got, already got hers, but I want to get me one. And, uh, so we can, you know, yeah, it is, uh, pretty cool. But, um, I got the, uh, I got one dog bone and one mod drive shaft in here. I think we went through like see let's see two bodies of this truck. One was a uh, a dingo truck that was a jeep actually, and we went through a jeep you know the dingo. And actually I got two lights in here. I cannot cut them on because I don't have the battery with me. The battery plug I need to order another one like this one I have in here. Yeah, another one for there and one for here. I like that kind of battery switch. It's pretty good. I mean, it's, I mean, I'll use it in most of my lighting system. And also, um, for the light board system, I'm using that package. But, uh, yeah, for that. And I took, I took the dingo bumper and cut them off. Because every time I'd go to a rock or something, I'd go diagonal. It would, it would, it would. It would shrink back the bumper some, so uh, so I just I still have to sand them, but other than that, I like it. And yep, and I got the electric trick, electric system from my winch up here for my power box. Sorry about that. A power box right in there. You can see it, perfect fit and everything. I mean, it's not going nowhere. I hope not, but I mean, I like it where it is, and I love it. But the only problem I'm seeing, I'm having, is getting a battery out. That's the only problem I'm going to be seeing. And uh, I will eventually rig up something where I can just lift it back. I can just go like, you know, lift, lift it, you know, all the way, like, uh, you know, just lift it back so I can get, you know, open it up. It's like, psh, you know, make it go. Oof. You know, without lifting the body up. Yeah, doing that. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, please comment below as any ideas you can probably give me. And this is holding on to that front and. If you want to know uh, how this was connected, the back still on. It's uh, the tire is covering the the, the paper clip, so you can't see it. Now for the under one, under, I have um, some rigged up stuff actually. So my motor and everything is turned around. It's not straight actually. See that's supposed to be over there. I got it over here because this drive shaft won't come out and it's stuck. So I had to switch this whole thing around. That's what some of the parts broke. And I put a uh, I want I wanted to put a uh, four link in it, but I just said no. I couldn't get these out, so I said just no. Never mind. I, mean, I can do it right now if I wanted to. Seriously, but uh, no, not doing it right now. I'm leaving it alone and I'm not touching any parts for right now. I may go back and uh tighten up some of these bolts uh that are actually loose. And that could use some tightening. Yeah, but uh See, so I got these uh, tie straps. I'm not cutting them because I may need to uh, get to them, so I don't know. I'm not cutting it. So, yeah, there's my um, walk, basically, video around uh, my walk around of my uh, 
Dingo, well, was my Dingo, now it's FJ, Axial, it's got about, in the front, a 14, uh, 14, Fourteen, yep, fourteen centimeters all the way up. Now in the back, it's a little more stiffer in the back because uh, I want it stable, but not too stable. The only problem I'm gonna see is with this body is you know in the front rubbing. Grr, 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 grr. I need to tighten up this bolt loose. I may have to cut this. I don't know. But I'm seeing some loose bolts. I tell you that. So yeah. So under here. They're hard to get out. Yep, that's my system. Just simply Sorry, my arm is in the way. Oh, wow, your little bugger was loose. Little bugger was loose. Let me get that one. I have not actually used these. Yep, I'm gonna use these. See how they look on here. Should I go with more detail or less detail? I don't know. Hmm. You tell me, guys. I don't know if you cannot see it, but this is the one you can you can automatically switch it from outside. And you got the one you can't. Um. No, I mean, I'm more seeing of these. Maybe I can put these on my girlfriend. Yeah, that's what I do. There we go. For my girlfriend's truck, she can have the bolt ones. Yeah, they, some the black one I had, they came off. It's stable. So, yep. Yeah, thank you for watching my videos and please like and subscribe. And any questions asked, they're down below.